So after a few months of delay, we are finally at the conclusion of Benjamin Morse's cyberpulp adventure. We are Scarlet Twilight, issue number four. How will Captain Lancet manage to turn the tide against Mam Satanica and her cult? Well, your pal Avenger Green is here to show you. Now, the final issue starts off with Captain Lancet. It's saying goodbye to the remains of the Maxi Militia in order to deal with the Scarlet Twilight on his own. And after a brief cutaway where we see he, the new Scarlet Monarch arc being crowned, we cut back to Lancet walking through the streets. It's, he remarks, remarks about how back when and all this started, it, er, it was in a blizzard-filled night. So maybe this is a good omen for a new beginning. And the sequence is actually pretty artistic and kind of poetic. And so, after some beautiful colored panels of the snowy night, right, Lancet arrives in the throne of Manasit Manasitanica, and the final fight begins. But while Lancet is one vampire or against the tide of other vamps, he does prove that decades of experience gives him, him quite the edge in combat against all these mooks. But things take a turn for when the newest and most powerful Scarlet Monarch joins the fray and just absolutely steamrolls over the good captain. And he also starts to taunt Captain Lancet, mocking him for losing his edge from the brutal king of Wallachia he once was in order to protect the ideals of a younger nation, aka the United States. It's, and we get this bit. It, Where is the king? Where is the impaler? Well, Lancet proves he's still worthy of the moniker of the Impaler, or by throwing the American flag through the monarch's torso. And it's here we learn Lancet's true plan. While he is a skilled and powerful vampire, he's still one man against an entire empire. But by spilling the blood in the royal throne room, which happens to be the same room where the first blood ritual from issue 1 took place, he plans on invoking the same other dimensional blood god that gave Satanica uh, the Scarlet Twilight their power. He succeeds and the Scarlet being manifest and accepts Lancet's offering. And the being is actually rather pissed as the Scarlet Twilight. It gave them the power to commit grand war and thus massive bloodshed. But because Satanica and her cult have utterly conquered the world, you know, there's no carnage into no bloodshed. And as punishment, he decides to just vaporize all of them in a great big red thoom. Boom. Lancet's the only one unalive, and he tells Lancet that he'll be interested in the bloody world the superhero will create. But the captain fully admits he never really had any interest as in, well, creating a war-torn world. He, you know, he just used the being in order to destroy the Scarlet Twilight. The Blood God vanishes back to its dimension and warns Captain Lancet that he should be wary when next they meet. The issue ends with Captain Lancet at picking up the American flag, as symbolizing his goal to turn the world back to the way it was before the Scarlet Twilight took over. The last two pages just give us the caption, and it tells us there were many peaceful years before the demon returned to try and raise and try and raise the earth and earth as penance and the promise that there are more adventures of Captain Lancet to follow. Oh, so that's We Are Scarlet Twilight Issue 4. The ending seems a bit rushed and a tad easy, but it really does fit the more lighthearted goal in HBO that Benjamin Morse was clearly going for this whole miniseries. I personally think this is a fitting conclusion to, this, to the book. And since this is the first conclusion to any story arc or any series we've had on the show, I figure I should give my full thoughts on this miniseries as well as my review score. Yeah, as you might have noticed, I stopped doing review scores for individual issues a while back. That's because given how most modern comics are usually just one part of a multi-issue story, it feels a bit iffy just to grade one part of the story instead of the whole thing. I plan on posting a video soon where I'll go into greater detail about this. But for now, here are my thoughts. We Are Scarlet Twilight is an excellent series, acting as a throwback to Golden Age pulp adventure for comics and pulp superhero comics and a truly loving homage. As though this is complemented by modern artwork that, as I've mentioned before in, in previous videos, is just a visual treat for the eyes. So, being an homage to that era of storytelling, it does inherit some of the flaws of the Golden Age comics. 
Onyx, the villains are pretty one-dimensional, with the only interesting twist being that the villainess was the lowest lane of the setting that went full supervillain. And the pacing could also be a bit too fast for some people, especially the ending. But I believe the writing for Captain Lancet and the tongue-in-cheek nature of the book more makes up for it. The twist of him being the Dracula of this universe who decided to become a superhero makes for an interesting premise with tons of storytelling potential for future adventures. So with all that in mind, I am giving We Are Scarlet Twilight a 4 out of 5. If you like Golden Age superhero stuff like the Justice Society, stories with interesting twists on vampire mythology, or just like some really amazing artwork, this book is an easy recommend. Though it might be hard to find the individual issues at your local comic book shop since this is such a niche book. But hey, eBay's always an option. And Mr. Morse, if you do happen to be watching in this video and you end up coming across it, just know that you now have a new fan who can't wait for the further adventures of Captain Lancet and anything else you got coming down the pipeline. And as always, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you always know when I upload a new video. Until next time, have a great day.